hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about the benefits as well as the drawbacks of relaxing your natural hair essentially what I did is I created a list well I created two lists and I divided it between the pros and cons all right so me being a positive person we are going to start with the cons that way we could end with the more positive things so the first con of relaxing your natural hair is the most obvious one. You are dealing with very powerful chemicals, okay? Now, these chemicals have been shown to increase your risk of uterine fibroids. Okay, so that sounds very serious. So what we're going to do is we're going to digest that information a little bit, and we're going to talk about, first of all, what are uterine fibroids, and second of all, how are uterine fibroids going to impact me if I decide to relax my natural hair? Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growth of the uterus um, that is typically seen um, in women during childbearing years. Now your risk of getting this increases when you relax, however, it is a very common thing. Women who don't relax, uh, who are natural, are still at risk of developing uterine fibroids because 20 to 80% of women are gonna get it at some point during their childbearing years. So, um, that's important to note. Also, it's important to note that uterine fibroids are benign, okay? What the word benign means is it's that it's very mild and it's not life-changing in the grand scheme of things. So, it's not, like really going to impact you to the point of like fatality or it's not seen as something that is very um, dangerous. Next on the list we have scalp irritation. So this is especially an important point to consider for people who have a very sensitive scalp. Okay, so when you use relaxers, it often irritates your scalp. However, there is a way to offset this which we will talk about in the pros section. Another drawback to relaxing your hair is hair breakage. Because relaxers do contain a lot of powerful chemicals, your hair is starting off at a weaker point in comparison to somebody who is natural. So that can lead to breakage if you are not um, ha if you're not taking care of your hair and you don't have a very efficient hair routine. Another con to relaxing your natural hair is the appearance. You know, when you are natural, you are wearing your hair in its organic state, and many people love the way it looks. So the drawback to relaxing that is that you have a different appearance. And we all know, you know, the empowerment behind the natural hair movement. I, for one, enjoyed being natural when I was natural. I just felt closer to my roots. There was this sense of community and acceptance. So I would say the drawback to that, um, would be that you do alter the state of your appearance if you prefer how natural hair looks. The back of relaxing your natural hair is the resistance. So clearly when you are comparing relaxed to natural hair, natural hair is always going to be more resistant than relaxed hair for the simple fact that it is your hair in its natural state. So naturally it's going to be more resistant. That's not to say that relaxed hair isn't resistant at all. It's just to say that natural hair is definitely more resistant. So those were a couple of um, drawbacks to relaxing your natural hair, which I want you guys to think about. Um, however, we're going to move forward and now we are going to get into the positives. The first positive is actually something um, that there is a lot of misconception about. So the first thing I have on my list is that you can grow healthy relaxed hair. So a lot of people have this belief that, you know, relaxed hair is just unhealthy and that you can't grow it. However, there are a lot of people on YouTube and the relaxed hair community that's proving that wrong, um, including myself. I shared my hair journey with you guys and you guys have seen me grow long, healthy, relaxed hair. So that is number one on my list. The second pro of relaxing your natural hair is there's no more shrinkage. Guys, this was my number one reason for relaxing my natural hair. I just could not deal with it. You know, it was very disheartening to be making all this progress in my relaxed hair journey and not have anything to really show for it. So my hair was getting longer and longer and longer. However, you know, just based off of appearance, it was about this short and it was like pissing me off. So 
If shrinkage is something that you're very concerned about, you do not have to worry about that as much. The next pro is styling time. Okay, so one of the benefits of having a relaxer is that it takes less time to style your hair. When I was natural, I would spend so much time on wash days. I would also spend so much time at night just trying to maintain a hairstyle. So when you're relaxed, your hair is a lot easier to detangle. So that is ultimately going to lead to less styling time. Another benefit to relaxing your natural hair is you have no more single strand knots. Single strand knots are um, those single strands of hair that would form knots around themselves. This was something that was like a big problem for me. I have so many of those things and now that I'm relaxed I can't even find one. So clearly this list is getting longer and longer but um, in the pro section I've included less maintenance. So with natural hair, you know, there's this constant need to, you know, upkeep a hairstyle. However, um, it's very different for, for relaxed hair. So at night when I was natural, I used to do um, braid outs or twist outs just to, you know, maintain like some kind of length if I didn't want shrinkage. But with me being relaxed, I could just take my hair, I could just put it in a ponytail and I tie it up at night and I go to sleep and go about my life. Add it on to the list we have versatile styling. So I love how versatile um, relaxed hair is. Some people think that, oh, all you get to do is wear your hair straight. That's not it at all, okay? Um, in fact, I actually can still do a braid out. I actually still can do a twist out. I actually can wear different types of weaves and it's easier to blend my hair with weave. So the versatility and relaxed hair to me personally is um, a lot more in comparison to when I was natural because when I would try to wear weaves in my hair It was very hard to blend, you know my leave out. However, when I'm relaxed I can do pretty much any hairstyle that I could do um, when I was natural except for I guess an afro But I can have big hair, you know All I'll do is I'll do a braid out or a twist out and then I'll pick it out earlier when we were talking about the cons We talked a little bit about how resistant natural hair is um, relaxed hair is more resistant resistant to humidity so in the grand scheme of thing in the grand scheme of things natural hair is more resistant but when it comes to humidity relaxed hair definitely has this on lock okay so anytime I have leave out with hairstyles and it's humid outside um, my hair does not get nearly as frizzy as it did when I was natural so that's a plus for relaxed hair the final thing on my list of pros is that it is a lot easier to find a hairstylist when you are relaxed. So most people know how to deal with relaxed hair. However, what I found when I was natural is that it seemed as though that was something that was specialized and that only a small group of people um, knew how to do. Personally, I will say this, I'm not into, you know, hair salons or going to hair salons. I just find that my hair grows more when it's in my own hands. But if you are one of those people that do need to go to the hair salon um, frequently, then this is definitely a pro for you to consider. This video is not intended to convince anyone to relax their natural hair. It's just sharing, you know, my perspective and giving you guys some pros and cons to making the very, very tough decision of relaxing your natural hair. So if you are relaxed, go ahead and comment some of the things you love about being relaxed below. If you are natural and you want to stay natural, go ahead and comment below some of the things you love about your natural hair. At the end, I am always going to advocate for people to do what is best for them. Now before I go, I would like to publicly shout out the best relaxed hair group on Facebook. And that is none other than the Relaxed Hair Sisters Discussion Group. So if you are somebody who is looking for additional support outside of YouTube, I would highly suggest that you join this group. So again, the name of the group is the Relaxed Hair Sisters Discussion Group. I am in no way benefiting at all from giving you guys this message. This is not a sponsorship. I'm not getting anything out of it. I just know that for me personally, I found it to be a very positive experience. The first thing I did after I relaxed my hair in April was that I was looking up various groups to join and I found that one. 
in, a, in addition to, you know, many others, but I found that that one was the most supportive. The women there are awesome. There's never any drama. You know, a lot of people over there know what they're talking about. So you're receiving a lot of information from people, you know, that are going through the same journey as you. And there's just a sense of community over there. So if any of my ladies there are watching this video, hey girl. If you like this video, go ahead and click on the like button so that I know that you liked it. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And finally, go ahead and click on the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I release a new video. Bye guys.